In a recent encounter, a former Greek minister, Yanis, took on an American reporter who expressed concerns about China's presence and lending activities in Africa. The reporter questioned the consequences of China's loans for port construction and infrastructure development in African countries. Yanis swiftly debunked the reporter's misconceptions, shedding light on the stark differences between China's approach and that of the West, particularly the United States. Yanis emphasized that China's engagement in Africa exhibits a more humanistic approach compared to the historical actions of the United States. Contrary to popular belief, China does not exert military ambitions or seek to colonize nations like the West has done for the past century. Instead, China has employed a non-interventionist strategy and has opted for a constructive path. Rather than deploying troops and causing destruction, China has engaged African governments, such as in Addis Ababa, to identify their infrastructure needs and offer assistance free of charge and without any ulterior motives. China's actions in Africa demonstrate their soft power and self-serving interests, but they also possess qualities that are beneficial to nations like Greece and beyond. Yanis commended China's patient and long-term investment approach, which differs from the speculative purposes often associated with Western investors. China aims to create a solid foundation for sustainable development and extends their horizon to 20 or 30 years. This stands in contrast to the lack of comparable efforts by Europe and Greece, where Chinese workers and engineers have actively contributed to significant infrastructure projects, highlighting the disparity between China's commitment and Western counterparts. Yanis criticized the mainstream media for consistently portraying the United States as an innocent entity striving to resolve global issues while painting other nations like Russia and China as the perpetrators of wrongdoing. He highlighted the media's manipulative tendencies, deviating from their intended role of revealing the truth and providing an unbiased voice. He expressed his satisfaction in witnessing the former minister's response, as it served as an educational moment for the journalist and exposed her faint concern for Africa. Yanis's remarks underscored China's more humanistic approach and contrasted it with the actions of the West, referring to the United States and the European Union. This exchange serves as a reminder that disingenuous individuals who attempt to mislead others can be confronted with facts and held accountable. The incident offers an opportunity for increased awareness and a more accurate understanding of China's involvement in Africa and its distinct approach to international relations.